The 2024 transfer window is officially open. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. And Newcastle's squad revamp is taking shape. With Eddie Howe chasing quality, today we've got massive updates. From Newcastle United making contact with two Italian clubs over signing two superstars. To unveiling the breaking news from David Ornstein regarding Newcastle's new potential huge offer for Michael Olise. To uncovering the Gremio wonder kit on Newcastle United's radar. To finding out the surprise sharp response from Martin Dubravka as Newcastle agreed terms with potential summer signing. We'll also reveal why Newcastle United's secret Noni Madueke transfer is genius. As well as discuss the latest developments on Eddie Howe's stance on England job amid FA identifying him as top candidate. Join us as we uncover the latest Newcastle United news. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss a single moment of this incredible journey. Let's go! Starting off according to the latest updates from David Ornstein of The Athletic and Keith Downey of Sky Sports News, Newcastle United have stepped up their interest in Crystal Palace winger Michael Olise. Ornstein is supported by Sky Sports News. Keith Downey reports that Newcastle made contact with Crystal Palace on Wednesday regarding a potential deal for the 22-year-old winger who has a reported release clause in the region of £60 million in his current contract. However, the reports also reveal that there are two other clubs who have also contacted Palace over a potential deal for Olise. Chelsea and Bayern Munich have both shown serious interest, with Chelsea making their approach and indicating that they are prepared to pay the player's release clause and have asked for permission to speak with Olise's representatives. The Athletic also confirms that Manchester United and Manchester City retain a strong interest in the former reading talent, although they are yet to reach out to Crystal Palace about a potential transfer. While it is exciting to hear that Newcastle are in the mix and targeting such a highly rated right winger, the report suggests it will be a tough deal for the Magpies to secure, given the level of interest from other top clubs, as well as the fact that Newcastle are currently unable to offer Olise European football. The competition for Olise's signature is fierce, with several of the Premier League's biggest clubs vying for his signature. Newcastle's ability to convince the player to join them will likely depend on their ability to outbid their rivals and offer the 22-year-old a compelling project and pathway to regular first-team football. However, in other developments, building upon this, according to the report from Mark Douglas at the I, Newcastle United have not only shortlisted Crystal Palace's Michael Olise, but also Chelsea's Noni Madueke as potential targets to replace Miguel Almiron. The Northeast reporter close to the club reveals that Newcastle are expected to undergo a summer overhaul and finding a new right winger is said to be top of their priority list. Although Oliz has emerged as a key target, with the 22-year-old Crystal Palace star attracting serious interest from several clubs, including Chelsea. However, Madueke is also an intriguing link for Newcastle following his impressive end-of-season form for Chelsea. Ironically, the 22-year-old may lose his first-team spot at Chelsea if they are able to secure a deal for Olise. Madwek has bags of pace, is direct, and has played alongside some of Newcastle's other targets, such as Anthony Gordon and James Trafford, with England's under-21 team. Madweke has struggled for consistent game time at Chelsea since joining in January 2023, making just seven starts in his first half-season. This season, he had limited opportunities before the final stretch, but finished the campaign strongly, starting the last nine Premier League games and contributing three goals and two assists. Despite his improved end-to-season form, there are doubts over Madueke's long-term future at Stamford Bridge, especially with a new manager in Enzo Maresca coming in. Team talk sources state that Madueke is willing to leave Chelsea on loan if he is not seen as a definite starter. This has alerted Newcastle, who are keen on signing the winger this summer. The report suggests that Madueke could be a viable alternative to Olise should Newcastle fail to secure a deal for the Crystal Palace star. It's an intriguing situation with Newcastle potentially facing competition from Crystal Palace, who could make a move for Madueke as a way to help facilitate a deal for Olise. The battle for these young, talented wingers looks set to be fiercely contested in the upcoming transfer window. Then moving on, according to the latest reports coming out of Italy, Newcastle United have ramped up their pursuit of highly rated Juventus defender Dean Hoysen, with the Magpies making contact with the Italian club for information on the 19-year-old prospect. The Tyneside club have long been admirers of the young centre-back, who has been drawing comparisons to Manchester City's John Stones for his impressive technical abilities and versatility on the pitch. Now it seems Newcastle are determined to strengthen their defensive options further by potentially adding Hoysen to their ranks. 
Reliable Italian outlet Toto Juve has revealed that Newcastle are not the only club interested in the teenager's services, with Liverpool and Borussia Dortmund also reaching out to Juventus for updates on the player situation. Additionally, Atalanta have also been linked with an interest in Huysen, indicating the high level of demand for the young defender's talents. According to the reports, Juventus would be open to potentially parting ways with Huysen, but only for a significant offer of at least 30 million euros, approximately 25 million pounds. This suggests that there could be a fierce battle between the interested clubs, as they look to secure the signature of a player considered to be one of the brightest defensive prospects in European football. Journalist Mirko Di Natale, who works for Tuto Juve, posted the update recently saying that Newcastle have made contact in the past few hours. Dortmund, Liverpool and Newcastle have, in the past few hours, inquired again about Dean Huysen. Atalanta, for the time being, have not deepened the situation after the first exploratory contact last weekend. The Juventus, as previously explained, would not want to deprive themselves of him, but would only do so for a major offer of at least 30 million euros said Mirko Di Natale. The youngster is versatile too, playing at centre-back as well as right midfield and centre midfield for Roma last season. It could be a good move by Newcastle to snap up the Spain under-21 international while he's still relatively cheap. Hoysen's impressive performances during his loan spell at Roma last season, where he made 13 Serie A appearances and even contributed with two goals and an assist, have further enhanced his reputation and fueled the interest from top clubs across the continent. Newcastle's decision to pursue Whitesen, despite already securing the signing of a defender earlier this summer, underscores the club's determination to bolster their backline and build a squad capable of challenging for European qualification and silverware in the upcoming season. The Magpies scouting network has been working diligently to identify and target the most promising young talents, and the potential acquisition of Whitesen could be a significant coup for the club as they continue to strengthen their team under the guidance of manager Eddie Howe. As the transfer window progresses, the battle for Huysen's signature is expected to intensify, with Newcastle, Liverpool, Dortmund and Atalanta all vying to secure the services of the highly rated 19-year-old defender. Then in further developments in Italy, Newcastle United have also reportedly made contact with another Italian side over a central defender in the wake of asking Juventus about Dean Huysen. According to the latest reports, Newcastle United have made a move to bolster their defensive options by exploring a potential transfer for Ficayo Tomori from AC Milan. The 25-year-old English defender has emerged as a surprise target for the Magpies, as manager Eddie Howe looks to strengthen his backline ahead of the upcoming season. Tomori, who was conspicuously absent from Gareth Southgate's England squad for the Euro 2024 tournament, has established himself as a key figure in AC Milan's defence since joining the club in January 2021. The report from Football Insider and Team Talk suggests that Newcastle have already made contact with the Serie A champions to gauge Tomori's interest in a possible Premier League comeback. Tomori's journey has been remarkable as he rose through the youth ranks at Chelsea before securing a permanent move to Milan, where he played a pivotal role in the club's Scudetto triumph in the 2020-21 campaign subsequently earning him a spot in the Serie A team of the year. However, Newcastle's pursuit of Tomori faces several significant challenges. Firstly, the club's financial strategy under CEO Darren Eales emphasizes the need for player sales to comply with profit and sustainability rules. Eales has been candid about the necessity of creating fiscal headroom through player trading, which could limit Newcastle's ability to make substantial acquisitions without offloading some of their existing players. Furthermore, Tomori's personal allegiance to AC Milan poses another formidable obstacle. Represented by Victor Kolar of Sportinvest, the defender is described as a loyal boy who is reluctant to leave the Italian giants, especially during a time of uncertainty at the San Siro. Tomori's long-term contract with Milan, which runs until 2027, further complicates the prospect of a transfer. Despite these hurdles, the report suggests that Newcastle's ability to secure the transfer of Sandro Tonali from AC Milan in the previous window, under similar circumstances, provides some optimism that they could potentially convince Tomori to join the club. The Magpies' ambition to challenge for top honours could be enticing factors for the England international. As such, the potential acquisition of Fakayo Tomori comes at a crucial time for Newcastle United. The club is currently facing injuries to key defenders like Sven Botman and Jamal Lascelles, leaving manager Eddie Howe short of reliable options in the back line.
The addition of Tomori would not only bolster Newcastle's defence, but also bring a proven winner and a versatile defender who is capable of quickly adapting to the demands of the Premier League. Tomori's experience and ability to excel at the top level could be invaluable for the Magpies as they look to build on their recent success and push for further achievements in the upcoming season. As the summer transfer window progresses, Newcastle's strategy will be closely scrutinized. The club will need to navigate financial constraints while strategically strengthening the squad to enhance their competitiveness. Whether Tomori ultimately dons the black and white stripes remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. Newcastle is set on making strategic moves to enhance their squad depth and competitiveness. Then moving on, according to reports from the Brazilian media, Newcastle United are reportedly eyeing a move for Grêmio attacker Nathan Fernandes, with the 19-year-old winger being the latest South American talent linked with a potential transfer to St. James and Park. The report comes from Portal do Gremista, an outlet focused primarily on Grêmio which claims that Newcastle are one of the most interested in the young player who can operate on either flank. Fernandes has been impressing in the Brazilian top flight, scoring four goals for the Serie A side after breaking into their first team. However, the report states that Newcastle are yet to make a formal offer, with Grêmio currently demanding a fee of around €20 million Euros for the teenager. It seems that Newcastle are not willing to go as high as the Brazilian club's asking price, with market specialists suggesting the player is only worth around 8 million euros. Given the financial constraints the club faces due to financial fair play, FFP, and Premier League profit and sustainability regulations, PSR, Newcastle may not have an abundance of funds to splash out on unproven talents like Fernandez, but the report suggests that it could be a deal to keep an eye on if Gremio's asking price comes down, with the club's previous £6.5 million move for Yankuba Minta last summer showing they are prepared to invest in exciting young talent if the price is right. The potential acquisition of Fernandez could be seen as part of Newcastle's strategy to strengthen their squad while navigating the financial challenges they face. The club will be closely watched as they aim to enhance their competitiveness in the Premier League while adhering to the league's financial regulations. While on the other hand, with the transfer window now officially open, after being recently given the number three jersey, Lewis Hall's permanent move to Newcastle United is expected to be announced imminently. The 19-year-old's obligation clause in his loan contract was triggered after Newcastle finished above the 15th position in the Premier League table. Then in further developments regarding the future of Miguel Almiron, Fabrizio Romano has doubled down on the potential departure of Almiron from Newcastle United by saying, Almiron still expected to leave Newcastle this summer in case of good proposal while Ben Jacobs then claimed that Al-Shabaab would be willing to revisit the potential transfer of Miguel Almiron if the player is now willing to move to Saudi Arabia, even though he rejected their advances and a potential £25 million transfer in January. On the same topic of potential outgoings, Newcastle United goalkeeper Martin Dubravka has addressed the speculation surrounding his future and the club's links to Burnley goalkeeper James Trafford. Dubravka, aged 35, says he is past caring when it comes to talk about his Newcastle United future. There are doubts about his place in the team, as the Magpies are reportedly looking to sign Trafford and have already agreed personal terms with the England goalkeeper. When asked about the Trafford links, Dubravka bluntly told reporters from his homeland, I don't care what happens anymore. He explained that he has done his best for the club and defended his place, but if Newcastle decides to bring in someone else, he won't try to influence it anymore. Dubravka says he is now focused on the Slovakian national team. The report notes that Dubravka currently remains United's backup goalkeeper, despite playing the majority of last season after Nick Pope missed five months with a shoulder injury. However, the arrival of Trafford or any other goalkeeper would likely see Dubravka fall further down the pecking order. With the risk of becoming the third-choice goalkeeper and entering the final year of his contract, Dubravka has been linked with a move away from Newcastle with Celtic the latest club to be mentioned. However, the goalkeeper says he is not commenting on those rumours, as he is mentally focused on the national team. I would not like to comment on that because I am mentally set for the national team. However, I am aware of various noises. Teammates ask me about it, agents call me. Yes, there is some truth to that. There was something true about that last year as well. But you see, I stayed at Newcastle United. If there is no official offer on the table, I don't deal with it. That's how I took it even when I was still in Sparta. 
At the moment, everything is only in the noise stage, said Dubravka. Dubravka has spent six and a half years at Newcastle, including a half-season loan spell at Manchester United in 2022 to 23. His don't care response suggests he is prepared to accept whatever decision the club makes regarding his future. Then in other Newcastle United news, according to the latest reports, Newcastle United manager Eddie Howe is not interested in the England job at this current time, despite the Football Association identifying him as a top candidate to potentially replace Gareth Southgate in the future. The Mail's Craig Hope has provided an update on Howe's stance, stating that the Newcastle boss sees his immediate future working on the grass and training every day and is fully invested in his role at St. James Park. While the report acknowledges that there's no doubt Howe will become the England manager one day, it seems he has no plans to leave Newcastle anytime soon. The 45-year-old is just getting started on a long-term project at Newcastle under the club's new owners, and he is not at a stage in his career where he would be prepared to give up the day-to-day -day nature of Premier League management. Howe's dedication to his work, his potential, impressive demeanour and ability to improve players make him an attractive candidate for the England job. However, the report suggests that the move from daily training sessions, which Howe thrives on at Newcastle, to the more sporadic schedule of international management during breaks and major tournaments is not something the manager is interested in at this moment. So while Howe is sure to become the England boss one day and deserves to be, he is not going anywhere anytime soon and is fully committed to his current role at Newcastle United. Then finally, in a recent massive transfer development, if you want to know about the £20 million offer, Newcastle United has recently submitted to sign an exciting Barcelona winger. Click the video link on screen now.